wife Marie and I uh, started Agora in 1991. Timber was a focus early on and it's become our well and truly our main item. The two genius children definitely had a part in it. Sitting with uh, David and Cass, we came up with a concept for most appropriate timber for a specific end use. A lot of the spoons that uh, were thrown at me and my brothers as we were growing up didn't make it down the hallway because they were too light. And we decided how do we make a long lasting, uh, useful uh, wooden spoon, for example, what's the best timber for a chopping board, what's the best timber for a serving platter, something that's carried around the room that needs to be lightweight. That's really how we the concept came about and then it evolved into specific timbers selected for specific products. We're using Brigolo for chopping boards because it's so durable, it's such a hard, heavy, dense timber. Um, it's also rarely seen in the marketplace at the moment, we're doing something a bit different. It's an Australian species. It also has a lot of really, really good uh, structural properties, especially for our end use. We're also using a little bit of rosewood, mostly for our vases. I'm doing a little bit of rosewood teaspoons and that kind of stuff as well, which is easier to work with than the brigolo when it comes to hand carving. And we're also doing Japanese sugi cedar, and that's mostly for our cheese boards and cheese platters, also for our coasters. They're so light that you can carry them around at a party, even though they're a metre long. That's the reality of what we were trying to achieve is having each timber suit the end purpose. Basically, I'll go to our rack where we keep all of our blank boards and I'll go through, I'll select a board to suit the size that the customer's ordered. Um, and every board will have some minor detail that needs an adjustment. And sometimes that's a minor hairline crack that we can either sand out or cut out. Sometimes that's a chip on the edge that we can dock off we always try and keep our natural edge, so if there is any small a crack or anything on that edge, we basically just sand it out so we maintain as much of that natural edge as possible. And then we go on to three stages of sanding, make sure that we take the rough surface off first with a nice coarse grit sandpaper, then we go down to finer sandpapers, the finishing basically ends up like glass. You can almost see yourself in the reflection before we even coat it with beeswax and coconut oil. Uh, once we do coat it, we let that sit and absorb into the timber and we give it a second coating before it goes to our packaging phase. Our mum suffered with Sjorgen syndrome, which is an autoimmune disorder that affects your tear ducts, affects the dryness in your body. So my mum, when she was here with us, she never complained, went about her day, being in a, in a warehouse didn't bother her. Um, in the kitchen, grandmothers and mothers are the ones that really give you a spanking. Uh, traditionally, we've had it from all angles, but we really wanted to give um, our give back with a $2 donation to Shawgreens from every utensil sold and a $2 donation for every bundle of utensils we sell as well. So if you're buying a utensil, you know that you might get smacked, but you'll also donate to a really great cause. I'm very fortunate in that I love what I do. I enjoy the product, the people, um, the logistics. I. Every business has its frustrations, but I enjoy what I do very much, yeah, very lucky. It's been good working in a family business and I enjoy the aspects that come along with that. Obviously positives more than negatives. <laughs> it's allowed me to be a little bit more creative, which is fun. I, I do like making spoons and other things. It's actually quite fun. When I say boys can't do more than one thing at a time, if someone's on the chainsaw, they can't also answer a simple question for me, but it is a challenge having to work with my dad and brother, but it's also super fun. We can pay each other out, have a good time, and I'm super looking forward to all the trips and 
different cultures overseas as well as within Australia and Queensland. Do you love coming to work every day with us, Wade? And do you prefer working with Daddy, Dad, 